These jobs don't care nothing about you. At the end of the day, they just want that workload done. And they don't give two shits about you and whatever you got going on. And you can look all you want and be like, hey, I'll take the spot. Hey, I'll do it. Hey, I'll do it. You just going to be doing it for free. You, your check going to still be the same. They're not going to pay you anything extra. They ain't going to give you a boost in your pay or nothing. There are a lot of bad 9 to 5 jobs out there. There are a lot of good ones. So I'm not knocking those of you who work them. Because I've had my share. But there's also a lot of bad 9 to 5 jobs out there. And one of the worst ones that I know for a fact that I've come across is those kind that expect you to do your job as well as the workload of other people. Not just your co-workers because someone didn't show up to work. Not anything like that. People who are above your pay grade. People who do jobs that they went to school for. And that is not what you came for. So I'm going to give you a prime example of what I'm talking about. So I applied for this job and I went in as a web designer. So I was hired on in that position. I went in there, you know, I had my little nice little spot. I was helping to create the website, uh, getting all of the SEOs and stuff together, doing the whole nine yards. That was my job. Well, you know, eventually that portion of a job will play out because once the website is built, the website is built. Either you're going to move on to the next location or you're going to stay. So I had no intention on being there more than six weeks anyway. And come to find out, they wanted me to stay longer than that and be a part of the marketing team. So I said, okay, I'll do that. So I went on ahead and stayed and a few weeks turned into a couple of years. But over that course of years, I went through a lot of different crap at that location. So I'm going to tell you guys some of the stuff that I dealt with as far as doing someone else's job yeah <laughs> okay so first you know it started off you know a little light request here or there and that was simply because you know when you get hired somewhere they see your resume they see everything that you've done they know everything you've possibly done in your past uh, if you've put it on your resume and so they'll if they have a need for it sometimes they may bring it to your attention so at first it started off with something light Something like, well, the warehouse manager is not going to be here. And since I have been a warehouse manager before, and I know my way around a warehouse pretty well, they were like, oh, well, Deidre, do you think that you could take such and such a spot today? He's sick and he won't be in today. And uh, hopefully he'll be back tomorrow. You know the nice person that I am. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah, sure, I'll take his spot. Do you need someone to come out there? I said, no, 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 I'll figure it out. So I go out there and I do the job. Next thing I know, you know, if he go on vacation, they want me to take his spot. If he if, if he's sick again, they want me to take his spot. They just automatically assume that they had someone to take the place of the manager. We have what we call operations manager. We have the warehouse manager, of course. And we have the business operations manager as well as the billing manager. Okay, so with each and every one of these, eventually someone would slide into my office and say, Ditra, uh, do you think that you'll be able to hold it down for me tomorrow? Um, I have something I have to do tomorrow. Ditra, do you think you'll be able to? Ditra, do you think you'll be able Okay, so now it's not just the managers. We're, we're well past the managers. Now we're talking about the ops the operations okay the ops of the building uh Deitra, do you think you'll be able to take uh the billing spot on next week he has to go out of town for an emergency he'll be gone about two weeks blah 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 so sometimes when she would ask me and i'm not too busy i would say yes so now i'm doing this work next thing i know the problem starts when they don't ask no more now nobody's asking. At first it was like, would you please, would you mind, would you mind? Therefore, I'm not expecting anything in return because, you know, I done said yes. Now we went from asking to I'm just receiving emails. <laughs> Be prepared to take such and such spot next week. They going out of town. Be prepared to take such and such spot two months from now. Heads up, such and such is going on vacation and you'll be replacing them for a wait, what? So where did all this start?
It started when I first started accepting the work that they were giving me. See, what happens is when they ask you if you are doing a certain amount of work or take someone's spot and you say yes because you're just trying to be nice, what's going to happen after that is now it's going to become a part of your job. Now, this is something that you got to do all the time to help out. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Why? Because the soon as you start saying, you know what, I'm not doing this no more. They'll be looking for a way to get you out of that. <laughs> because this is their game. Because this is their game. And you're just a player in it, okay? If they ask you to do something, you might well as look forward to it because you're going to be doing it all the time. And that's exactly what happened to me. It was like the worst thing ever. Every time I looked around and it, it started to be such a burden. I get ready, I have workload that I have to do. There's stuff that I have to do. I said, today when I get when I get to work, I'm gonna focus in on this stuff and knock this stuff out so I don't have to be bothered with it all week. Soon as I get to work, I got an email or somebody walks in my office and say, Deidre, did they let you know that such and such won't be here this rest of this week? Yeah, something came up and the files are in his office. Just go in his office and get the files off his desk. Like, what? Since when? Okay, so now I'm just taking the place of everybody. Okay, so okay, okay, I get what's happening. Now, the worst part of this, and this is the worst part. So our billing person quit. And when our billing person quit, now we needed somebody to take the place. When they replaced them with somebody and that person didn't like being there and decided they were just gonna up and walk the plank and quit on break, <laughs> I said, you know what? The next time they get ready to say they finna put somebody in that spot, I'm just gonna tell them, hey, you know, I might as well do it. I'm always doing the work. The person who was there for the work in the first place ain't never there. So I'm always doing the work. So I go and walk, I chop my little self up in the office and I'm like, hey, uh, such and such a person no longer with us y'all looking for somebody to take the place i'm always doing the work anyway so you might well just give me the spot i'm already here that way you don't have to hire nobody i'm already in here i know the game i know how to, all of this works you don't gotta hire nobody or nothing you just let me do the job you can just give it to me <laughs> yeah that does sound like a good idea let me run that by such and such and we'll see you we just i'm like okay I already knew I could feel the vibe in the office when I left out. I was like, you know what, did you? They just been using you 100%, and they were not intending on ever giving you anybody's position. <laughs> okay, so time passed maybe about a week or two, and I seen somebody else coming in the building for the position. And I come to realize real quick that they're not trying to let you have those spots. Only thing they want is somebody who went to school for it. They want somebody with a degree for the position. But hey, when that person don't come to work, guess who takes the spot? Have you guys ever worked a job like that before? Well, they expect you to take the, the place of other people who are way above your pay grade. And, not, and bear in mind, they never offered to pay me anymore. Because I ran it across. I was like, look. The next time the operational manager is not here and all that work he be having to do, whatever you guys are paying him, you need to pay me that for my pay period. Because this is ridiculous. Because they expect me to do my work and do and pitch in and do what they can't do because they're not there too. Come on now. That was too much. But you know what? Nope. They had no plans whatsoever on paying me anything more above what I was getting paid. They just use you. These jobs don't care nothing about you. At the end of the day, they just want that workload done and they don't give two shits about you and whatever you got going on. And you can look all you want and be like, hey, I'll take the spot. Hey, I'll do it. Hey, I'll do it. You just going to be doing it for free. You, your check going to still be the same. They're not going to pay you anything extra. They ain't going to give you a boost in your pay or nothing. Crappy ass jobs. Let me tell you something. If I'm going to do whatever I can to keep from going back to one, bear in mind, I've said it before. If I have to, I will. Because at the end of the day, we all got to live. And this inflation clearly looks like it ain't going away. Groceries is ridiculous. Everything is just high. You go in the store and you get two bags of something. You spend sixty dollars. Why spend sixty dollars on? I don't even have nothing. So we got to do what we got to do to live and survive in this world 
today. But if you are one who are out there taking care of your own self and handling your own business and your own affairs, please don't let nobody use and abuse you now. Because at the end of the day, they're getting what they need. Their companies are thriving. Because see, while I'm up in there taking people's places and up in there handling all of this business because these people are sick and out of town and all this stuff, my CEOs and stuff, they in Hawaii somewhere. They chilling somewhere. They enjoy life. And my check ain't no more than what it would normally be. When I got paid, my check was the same as it's always been. My struggle was the same as it always was. But that work was done. See, I am never, never, not intentionally, not knowingly, ever going to let any job, even if I take another one, I am never going to let any job use me like that again. <laughs> you better believe it. Soon as they say, can you take such and such, uh, are you finna boot bump my pay? And if they don't like it and they try to find a way to boot Didi out, guess what? Didi will just leave because <laughs> Didi don't care. Huh? I've gotten to a point in my life now where I don't care. Okay. And, and, and don't nobody say, well, you should care because no, why should I? Why should I? Huh? Our time is winding down here on this earth. I'm telling you now. Enjoy your life and your job should be something that you do enjoy 100%. You should enjoy going to work. You shouldn't be stressed on Friday night because you know Saturday gonna fly and Sunday you gotta go to bed early because you gotta go to work Monday to a job you hate. You shouldn't be stressing and straining about something as simple as that. You shouldn't even be thinking about your job. You see what I'm saying? Even right now, today, I don't think about it. Even if the workload is low, even if the workload is high, it doesn't matter to me. Because I'm happy every single day. And I honestly and truly don't think about it. I've been in the middle of my week and don't know what day it is. I be like, what's the day? Is it day Tuesday? Somebody got to be like, girl, no, day Friday. Is the day Friday? Girl, no, the, the, the day Sunday. See, I don't even keep up with it no more. Why? Because my job is not a job. It's a job, but it's not a job mentally to me. I enjoy what I do every single day. Regardless of what I'm doing. And I'm not just talking about the field inspector. I'm talking about working on my YouTube channel. I'm talking about my online stores. I'm talking about all of that stuff. All of those things I really love and enjoy doing every single day. So I don't think about it as work. And I could burn the midnight all on those things. And some of those, some things you can get started. And you'll never even make a dime for a while. But because you love doing it, you'll find yourself just all wrapped up in it for hours on end, day in, day in and day out, night in and night out, hours on end, never getting a rest <laughs> and ain't getting paid for it either. And you look around and realize you've been spending all your time on this and ain't clocked a dollar. Why? Because you love what you're doing. At the end of the day, that's what's important to be wrapped up in something that you really enjoy doing. Okay, and I ain't saying that you got you supposed to just be all in love with your job. But if you're gonna spend a third of your life at somebody's workforce, trust me, you need to enjoy something about it. Now, I've had those that I have absolutely loved, and if nothing would have fallen apart on those work sites, I would probably still be at one one of those today. I have really had jobs that I loved. And if you have one that you just love and you don't see yourself letting go of, kudos to you. But if you work with one who is working you, literally working you and are being unfair when it comes to how they work you you need to cut them jobs loose you guys know what to do i have work to do like subscribe turn on the notification bell i'll be bringing you something back later thank you thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day